talking about. Just what I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Got it! Holy crap! All right, guys, today is February the 2nd. We are here today fishing for walleye and saugers our main target species but we're also take spotted bass and smallmouth as secondary fish it's going to be 65 degrees today which is very rare for the first of february here in missouri this is the only place we could find that isn't chocolate milk colored it's just went back to normal recently it's not perfect but it is more clear than it is dingy so I got a good feeling, especially toward the evening after this heat kicks in a while. We're going to get on something today, guys. Stay tuned. That white bass you caught here is the biggest one I've seen out of here. This thing was probably three. <coughs> no little. No. It's tempting to even hang them, pull them up about six inches off the bottom. If you can. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Guys, we are on our first fish of the day on a four inch shiner. I caught a nice little two pound smallmouth. That didn't even take one minute. I just hit, just set it on the bottom. Man, I'm hoping to use that again, yeah, if I can. Man, that's nice. Not bad. We gotta get with the Virgil Minnow, maybe. If you want, I can get you a hook and a big uh, weight to get it down and just let it set. Look at that. Man, he's real pale. Yeah, they're usually prettier in the winter. This thing's dull, real light. Looks like a bass that's been sitting in a bucket for an hour. That's a nice little smallmouth, guys. Not bad. All right. Hey, now we got some hope. Comes another boat. I knew somebody would come. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, we found the bass. First one anyway. All I did was lower it down right here and just kept letting the line fall until I felt it hit bottom. I just need to get a lot back here. 
to right in there. Problem is I can't watch my pole. Just gotta pray they'll hook themselves. Oh yeah, drift and drag method, yes. The, the ringworm on a one ounce jig head, guys. Please be a song or a walleye, no, it's a bass. It's a nice one. Yep, on a one ounce jig head, that's crazy. Guys, I got him on a one ounce yellow and green jig head. Now Will's got one with a Authentics orange core and chartreuse ringworm. Another smallmouth, about three quarters of a pound. Man, his is nice. Will, we got doubles, guys. Will's got a bigger one. Oh! Ho, ho. Boy, they're picking up, ain't they? Doubles, guys. That's how we do. February smallmouth. Now, I know a lot of you guys are thinking, why the hell are we using one ounce jig heads? Because we are fishing very deep water. 30 to 50 foot deep in this area. Oh, he's got another one. Man. Oh, this one's big. Uh, man, <laughs> we just got triples, guys. That was on the shiner, wasn't it? Man. All right, so two methods have worked now. The drift and drag, I just dragging it in the sand. It worked. Minnows are working. And I'm surprised I felt him because I'm using mono, but it worked. There's gotta be some four pounders in here. All right, Will's on another one, guys. Man! Woo hoo! <laughs> it's more, no, it's a spotted. Spotted bass. I was about to say it's all smallmouths, kind of strange. Not a bad little spot. Or hold him up for us. All right. This fat one, just not real huge. What are you getting? Oh, you got that on the jig. I just landed on the island. The used to be island. Another hour or two. <laughs> you didn't see this yet. That's jig heads that are only a, uh, over a half ounce or over. Yeah, them are uh, half ounce. Yeah, 25 packs for like 10 bucks. It's not a bad deal. I like that guy that has those. I just wish he had them bigger. Man. Oh, God. I gotta fish below the canoe instead of casting, I guess. Just fish right here. He's just hammering them below the canoe, guys. Every one's about the same. They're cookie cutters, but they're not bad. That's awful big minnows to be catching smallmouth. Oh, I had one. Yep. Had. Grabbed it too late, man. God. Nope, there he was. 
Come on. Come on. Quit pecking. Got it. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, he's got me hung. Oh, I got it. He felt real big because he had me wrapped on the bottom. It's tiny. Whatever it is. Yeah. Look at that, folks. This shiner, these shiners we're using are four inches long, at least three and a half. That's a big minnow for this little, look at that, guys. Look at the shiner and then look at that small mouth. Totally crazy. If they're, they're biting good, then. As I said, Daddy, hit it. Yep, Will's on one, guys. Right when you pulled it up. All right, nice smallie. And my camera is on this time. Oh, get him. Got his minnow back. All right, guys, Will just on, got on a nice small mouth here. Got him on the four inch shiner. All right, heck yeah, we're on them today, guys. February bassing. We're getting a little burnt out on the smallmouth for now. We're gonna try to get some crappie. We're gonna try to get walleye here in about two and a half hours. Yeah. He caught one. Oh, in the water? Man, what a waste, though. Did you get up catching any? That is nasty, man. God. Oh my God! Oh, Will is on something big here, guys. Oh my God! Let out some drag if you got to, buddy. Whoa, man! I don't know, man. <laughs> it's giant, whatever it is. Oh, you might have a big old walleye, man. Like a, a like a fucking twelve pounder. Yeah, it could be a flathead. Cause you do got a shiner on there. It's possible. Still ain't seen it yet. Man, we need a dip net, bud. Bad. I'm never not bringing it again. Flathead. Oh my God! Big old flathead. Like this big. Woo! You must have hit him in the head. I tell you what, get him back here, and I'll grab it. I'll try. I'll get him with both hands. That's a nice winter flathead, there, guys, on a bucktail jig, guys. Now that is, he must have just hit him in the head. Look at the mud on him. He's been sitting in one spot. He's barely hooked in the eye. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't let him. Oh my god. Oh, he's barely hooked in the damn eye. Oh, holy shit. I don't even see how you got him in. I'm, I'm serious, he's that. Grab him by the lip, yeah. Guys, that is a giant flathead. Oh my God. For a lure it is. 
Oh my God. That is awesome. Okay, I'm getting a good film on you here. You're gonna have to, I'm definitely gonna. Guys, this is a rarity here, catching a nice winter flathead on a bucktail jig. Not too often. He's a good, he's about six pounds. Maybe seven, pretty fat. Wow, that is so cool, man. Hey, that made our trip worth it right there. Yeah, hold him like that too. Wow, turn the back up a little bit. That is so awesome, man. <laughs> After a little while, it's like it don't seem like a walleye. God. Let's go show Virgil, or he needs to come over here. You wanna come look at it? Man, about seven pounds. God. Keeping him? You got another one? He's getting another one. Oh. God. I'm lowering back down, man. Hey, I'll Another one, guys. It's a smallmouth. Not bad. On the bucktail jig again, guys. These lures are starting to surprise us what you catch on pretty much anything. An orange and yellow bucktail jig with a stinger hook. stacked in this hole. My goodness. Orange and yellow, orange and yellow. I didn't expect there to be this many fish in here. I'm finally on one, guys. It don't feel very big, but it's, oh wow, it's real small. <laughs> That's why it didn't feel big there. Damn, I could have got that minnow back. Something's gonna eat him for sure. That's gotta be the smallest fish of the day right there. That didn't take long, did it? Yes. 
second smallest one of the day, I'd say. On the middle on the bottom with two quarter ounce split shots and a number two hook. We are what I like to call a migratory zone. They come in and out through here from the main giant hole, and it's where the river goes back to normal. So they sit here. Well, they migrate through it, and they also sit here waiting for stuff to wash down. Use it again, it's complete, nah, completely ripped. Okay, I need to use the pressure. I'm gonna try the missile for a few minutes. All right, hey, Pat. Spotted. Man, we have caught literally, guys, today at least 20 smallmouth already. Once in a while they'll hit lures, but they're preferring the minnows. All right. caught another small mouth and I caught him on a red at red and yellow one ounce bucktail jig all right we'll get him back in little guy real little I thought he was a sauger Hey, he gave me my minnow back. That's one good thing. Oh my God, I told you, dude. Sit down there. They, me and her was nailing them right here. This is the spot. But it was store-bought minnows, look. All right, we've got a nice little goggle eye. I'm gonna have to zoom way in on that. That's a pretty nice one, though. Little shadow bass, guys. Heck yeah. New kind. That day, me and her probably caught nine or 10. But it was drizzling. Uh-uh. All right, Will's on one, guys. It's almost dark. We're hoping it's a walleye instead of a smallmouth. Holy moly, yes it is. My gosh. That's a big old fat goggle eye. That's a good fish to end with, if nothing else. I'll tough it out a few more minutes. All the fish are dull colored today. I guess when it stays clear a little while longer. A good view of him, that's a nice. Guys, that's a monster goggle eye. He's probably, he's about eight. You ought to measure it. That's a nice goggle eye, folks. I'll measure him real quick. I bet you he's every bit of eight. Was that on a giant minnow? Yeah, I think so. My gosh. Oh, 10 inches, guys. Here, I'll hold it real quick. I know it's real close. Guys, he just caught a 10 inch 
Shadow Bass, aka Goggle Eye. That is a really nice fish to end with in the evening with. We didn't get no walleye or sauger. We never have been able to find them. They're, they're a mysterious fish. Never works the way you think it's going to. My God. That's the ones like 11 points. Can you keep it? Yeah. I guess we're still on the bottom. That's a nice one. I've never caught one that big. I don't think. If, it, if I have, that's the second biggest one. I've caught one out of here 10 once. In the middle where, where you caught the flathead. Just look at that goggle eye, folks. Really nice. Biggest one I've seen in a while. 10 inch. What a beauty. <laughs>